and welcome to Talking Fish. This week Paul will explain how important it is to have good lighting in your tank to keep your fish happy and healthy. Lighting is the most striking and vibrant part of any aquarium and it's absolutely vital to any corals or plants you wish to keep. Although fish don't need more than ambient lighting, you should always put a lot of thought into the lights that you select, because it will have a dramatic effect on the overall display. When setting up an aquarium, you must either select corals or plants to suit the lights that you have, or get lights that suit the corals or plants that you want. There are a few points you must think about. The first consideration is the Kelvin rating of the globe. The Kelvin is the colour temperature, which will have an effect on how colourful your animals will appear. Shallower environments require lower Kelvin, while deeper require high Kelvin. Low Kelvin globes will appear yellow and make the plants look great, but will wash out the colours of the fish. On the other hand, high Kelvin globes will also wash out the colour of the fish, but will bring out the beautiful fluorescence in the coral. A mid-range spectrum will tend to highlight the colours of the fish. This is why many people opt for combination light units that enhance the colours of both fish and plants or fish and coral. If you grow plants under high Kelvin globes, you'll find the plants tend to grow tall towards the light, whereas if you grow them under low Kelvin globes, they'll tend to be more short and bushy. There are various different types of lights. Fluorescent T8, T5, metal halide and LED. Fluoro T8 is a very common, inexpensive option, perfect for any fish only tank. T5 lighting is much more powerful, so perfect for general corals and plants, while metal halide is best for high light corals and plants. LED lights are gaining popularity because of their low running costs, compact size, low heat transfer and long tube life. The LED and more so metal halide create a beautiful rippling effect through the water which looks great. Aquanova even have LED tubes that you can put in your old fluoro TH and transform them to LED. Just like normal plants, it's important to remember that aquatic plants and corals need light and dark periods to imitate nature. So having your light on for 10 to 12 hours a day is optimal. But if you don't have any plants or corals in the tank, it's better to restrict the amount of time the light's on to reduce your algae. Most globes contain gases which burn over time. So the globe should be replaced regularly in order to maintain the correct intensity and spectrum. T8 fluoros should be replaced every six to nine months. T5 every 12 months metal halides every 12 to 18 months and LED every three to five years as a guide. It is recommended to have at least one watt per litre if you wish to grow live corals or highlight plants. Whereas one watt every three litres is acceptable for most other plants and not so important for fish only tanks. Always remember to be careful of direct sunlight because it will often create problems with temperature and algae. If you want to grow live coral, it's really important to consider where you place it in the tank because each centimetre that the light has to travel through the water will reduce the intensity. So basically shallow water corals should be kept towards the top of the tank and deep water corals can be put towards the bottom where the intensity is a little bit lower. What I like to do is place the coral in the tank for three weeks and move it higher or lower depending on how it seems to be reacting to the amount of light. Remember, lighting is a critical part of having an attractive, healthy aquarium. So speak to your local aquarium specialist to make sure you get lighting that suits your purpose. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Talking Fish.